Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden, and in today's video, we're back in Anthem uh, episode 11. So, usually today would be a SpongeBob video, but right now I have to re download the game because during my break, someone decided to delete it off of my Xbox and delete the save file. So, I have to re download it and play it back up to the point which I was at, which would be the last episode, too, uh, which is kind of annoying, but. That's probably going to come next week if I get back up to that point in time because it did take a while to get there. It's not that simple of a game to play. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but I probably it will be different amounts of money and stuff when I get there instead of just the uh, whatever amount I had before. I think I had like 76 or something maybe. But now we're back in Anthem. The last episode, uh, what's his name? Ooh, I've already forgotten his name. The, our original Cypher stole the 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 general tarsus suit so now we're basically trying to figure out how to get it done without him the freelancer that survived the heart of rage i thought you'd be what i thought you'd be bigger hey thief one sec go I was three steps away, Carney. You had no chance. I got this! Everything's fine. Hey, we can do this later. My aunt disappeared in the jungle. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't find missing people. It was ten years ago. She's dead now. I don't find missing corpses either. That's not what I'm after. Ever heard of the Emerald Abyss? A jungle region where dozens of people have vanished. Including my aunt, a royal cartographer gone without a trace a royal cartographer not just any the best <sighs> beautiful my aunt left a journal she was onto something big no legend has it the first time anyone vanished in the emerald abyss was the same day the heart of rage appeared and that's why i'm here right that time you went into the heart yeah an entire merchant caravan was never heard from again my lady my aunt's journal proves there's a connection between the Heart of Rage and the Emerald Abyss. One of the world's biggest mysteries just waiting for us to solve. So, you in? I need to see that journal. Sentinel Dex! Damn it. Don't go anywhere. Commander! What is going on here? Keeping the streets safe, sir. Notice this undesirable entering the premises. Stole that citizen's bag. That is not your job. You file reports at your desk. You... It's no matter. Your family has ordered you home. To Antium? Immediately. Beautiful. Come with me. Now. I'll contact your cipher. We'll set up a meet. Explain everything, okay? There she goes, Lady Adaxia Marava Ladell, third in line for the throne of Antium. A glorious sight. What? You mean Dax? Of course. Lady Adaxia is the most eligible unmarried woman in the world. She will be mine. <laughs> okay, well, Lloyd Roy, or whatever that dude's name, looks like a complete dickhead, honestly, because he just walked up in the middle of her having a full-on conversation and expects her to fall head over your heels for him um i'm supposed to talk to matthias also how'd it go with sentinel dax you could have told me i was meeting royalty <laughs> where's the fun in that dax gave us a location outside the walls meet her there now what does matthias want what have you been up to you'll love it okay it's called the manifold well, technically, I call it the Manifold. And it does what, exactly? For years, I had heard of a type of Shaper Relic that was able to amplify and augment the qualities of other objects. Never encountered one, never knew anyone that had, but thanks to the Elysian Manuscript, I think I know where one is. Right here, in Bastion. And you think it'll amplify and augment the power of my Javelin? Precisely. Excited yet? Uh... Not to worry. Once we find the manifold and get it working, you will be guaranteed. 
First, the Manifold. Then, we boost your Javelin. You silence the Heart of Rage, and boom. Everyone lives happily ever after. It's a little more complicated than that. Ah, details. I've sent all the particulars of the location to Then we'll do that mission first, because that's an interesting cutscene that happens once he gets the Manifold. And I've wanted to show you that the whole time. That's probably the one thing that I've wanted to show. The second most, actually. Uh, first was the betrayal from... Whatever his name. I've already forgotten his name. He's that unimportant now. Okay, so... The Manifold. We're still using the Storm. What's our level? I still want to switch back to the Colossus. I think I might go ahead and do that just to end out the series. Because there's not too much left going on anyways. So, Triple Threat. The Manifold. Okay. And... Yeah, that, that's it. The tracked mission is the one we want to do. And then the forge. And the Colossus. We can always make improvement. Uh, the, the, what, did, what was I calling the? I don't know what I've been using as naming conventions for these. So I'm just going to call it C. Cause C for Colossus, I guess. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Whenever it loads, we we'll do that. I'll build it and then bring you back and explain everything right after I finish. All right, so what I've gone ahead and done is uh, I crafted a lot of the um, the uh, components that I was going to use. Whoa, these are new. Oh, I can buy these now. Cool. I like this one. Anyways, I'll look at that more later. So I went ahead and bought all the uh, the um, armor pieces, not armor pieces, all the components and everything that I want to do, not bought, but crafted them because uh, it was going to take forever to build up everything that I needed basically and then I crafted the weapons that I wanted I went ahead and just did master word because at this point in the series it doesn't actually matter that much also um they're still very low level despite uh being high ranked they're still low level so I made a a gatling gun which is basically a mini gun which is an exclusive to the colossus same thing with the uh, grenade launcher so they both have special abilities siege cannon which is like just a bazooka basically uh this is the only way that um there's a freezing effect for the colossus it's my favorite one too so it does extra it does electric damage and then freezes them when they get hit and it's like a shock dome around you'll basically you'll see how it all works and then this increases the uh overall damage one of those increases explosive one increases health and one increases um the 
what you call it? What's it called? The electric and fire damage. And then also took a weapon that uh, detonates because everything else I have, I think, primes. Well, I have a lot of priming and detonating, basically. Oh, okay, so SpongeBob is done. Alright, so we actually have a teammate too, so a lot of the stuff that I built for the balance of prime and detonate wasn't actually necessary since we have someone who can prime. And that's why I like the Colossus. Uh, I don't even think I'm supposed to be here. I just took those three out in two simple moves. I'm a little out of breath because I have to get up and run and get something real quick for one of my roommates to help him out. But otherwise, yeah, that's the Colossus basically. You just drop in, do your damage, and go. But you can also tank. I, pretty, I like it because it feels more all around, at least for how I play, which is basically I can drop in, do the damage, and dip, or I could stay in its tank. Shaker constructs. The strange box. Could we use it? You have to know how to activate it. There's a Dominion camp close by. Perhaps we'll find a clue there. Okay, so let's go back out. I kind of remember this area now. I feel like we've been in it before for a different mission. Uh or at least during the the um the showcase way back when I first started doing YouTube. Uh, I'm not really sure there, but it should be it. Oh, I forgot to edit these time trial things. But yeah, so we have help in this one, so it's not going to be all us alone kind of trying to deal with this. So we do go down. It's not going to be as big a deal as long as they revive us and also don't go down at the same time. Yeah, these things, these ones usually load a little faster. Um, but then we also have our new javelin to use. Hopefully things, not even hopefully, I know things that go better now because it's a javelin that I'm used to. I don't really have a dodge, but I do have an actual shield, so I don't have to worry about my shield going down and then have to run around trying to get away from it. It's more like my health goes down and then I pull out my shield and let that keep me safe for a while, as long as no one gets behind me, because that's the only thing. It is directional instead of a full body shield, like with the um, rest of them, really, not even anything else. It just sounds bigger, too. Like, I, the, the, the game itself got really bad reviews for what they said it was going to be to what it was but i do like how they changed the sound of each one like the interceptor sounds really small really light and all that type of stuff while the um and everything else basically matches their sound i shouldn't be hovering because that's not at all what this one's for but yeah, this, this that's actually probably why my aim is so bad. The minigun is the main weapon that I've used. And it has no actual accuracy over long ranges. What did you do? I uh sent a message to a colleague at the academy about what I found. It was intercepted then. We found some kind of voice recording. Forced entry with a version of the monitor's device. One trooper entered vault before a door shut itself. Commanded to hold until a sweep is completed. Both signets for the device were returned to camps for safekeeping. The scout succumbed to injury on the way out. We left her. We have not heard from the trooper inside the ruin. Two special Dominion signets then. That's what we need. I'll send you the location of nearby Dominion camps. Um, I also chose this specific, uh... Minigun? Because of the, uh the the fire rate like i like the higher fire rate one i think it has more ammo higher fire rate but there's something else about it too since it is masterwork it has special um attributes to it but i don't remember what those are exactly another thing with the colossus is it's melee um okay that's gone already but it's melee gains uh strength the longer it falls and here's the directional shield And that's why I took that. I can shock. This is really what I used it for. It's mostly for taking out, uh... The, 
the um, turrets because you can just freeze them and then they're done. Or if there's a bunch of enemies spawning in, I can just walk in like this, freeze them, and since I have the extra electric damage, it's really just killing them overall. But if I don't freeze something and I can detonate it, it'll cause an explosion dealing extra damage to the things around. Now the only thing that's actually going on now is I keep pr trying to dodge backwards, because I'm used to that in a few different games. And that, that's not for the Colossus, he just pulls out a shield. Which I can also use to plow through enemies as well. Forgot that that just shoots. That's... What, how do you switch weapons in this game? Hold you. And the... What you call it, they're just ulting where they're supposed to come in, so they're really keeping them all down. And these things are dying from the grenades themselves hitting, so I should probably choose a different weapon then. Uh, but yeah, we're just standing around basically. We actually have the whole team stay on the point, and we actually have a. Well, okay, we have most of the team stay on the point, so this isn't taking as long as it. Lightning's finished strike. That as long as it usually it. would. Sending you the location of another Dominion camp. Interesting. But yeah, you can also see in the top corner how much more health this thing has. It also does have higher level uh, components. So that's also pushing its health up way further than usual. But even then, the the actually the anything else doesn't get this close. Everything else gets like 6, 7 at most, maybe 12 from the, the Ranger. But this one has, actually at the highest level, it has too many for me to even count uh, without losing my spot because they're really small slivers. Like it still shows every single sliver and each one still contains the same amount of health technically. Let's see if I can make it to this waterfall and reset. Yeah, okay. That's another good thing about this game is they make stuff make sense so you, the water cools you down and then if it's raining you're getting a constant slower rate of heat and then the whole uh like doing more damage i feel like i didn't equip the right thing that or i bought something thinking it was something who's that yeah. and you can see how little damage they're doing to me just because of the the, the the difficulty they're set to compared to the amount the stuff that I have. Uh, they really can't do too much to me. And I assume it's the same thing for everyone else here. Yep. So we took out that whole mob of enemies real quick too. I feel like the rest of them are also uh, either using the level 30 characters or they made lower levels but still gave them all the much higher level stuff to use. Is it this thing? Yeah, it is. I didn't actually see that. I thought it was that piece, but I still got the same end result, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to act like I knew where it was. Is there security on this one too? Let's go the decryption. I always gotta pick up the loot. The only downside to when I play a Colossus is I never take anything with range. Because the best thing with range for me is a DMR since it's uh, usually as fast as you can pull the trigger, it's as fast as the bullets come out. And a sniper rifle is always super zoomed in, like with a sniper scope, which makes sense, you know, but. I can't do much with that because I'm usually too close to the fight for that to make sense to use. So I just went ahead and went with the full mid-range, mid-close range style for my Colossus instead of trying to balance it or anything like that. In that sense at least. It can prime, it can detonate pretty well. Uh, overall the detonation is definitely weaker than the prime for this specific build 
because um, I thought because most of these missions have been played by myself, so I didn't expect to have anyone. But I think technically this is a contract and not a mission, so maybe that's why it's different. If you also notice this heat coming off the front of the shield, like, um, oh wait, is that gonna? Yeah, okay. I forgot Th those things break the shield, quote unquote. Basically, they um they're big enough to stop the uh, momentum from the shield dash or the shield uh. I guess flying so what happens is they'll just I'll just stop against them but other bigger items also do the same items enemies do the same thing like the Titans the ash Titans or whatever they'll do the same thing so there's that whole thing yeah but I really thought I took a different um glaive I think is what his weapon is called oh well I mean, we kind of knew there were Dominion in here already, didn't we? I'm gonna take on these ones, though. Oh, he's already dead. Okay, cool. Complete overkill. Okay, that was also overkill. The three Dominion soldiers that were locked in this chamber were behaving strangely. They seemed confused. But enough about that. We should move on and figure out how to get the manifold. So this is this the manifold? I think it is. It's not a manifold, but it's protected by some kind of barrier. It's linked to the entire chamber structure. Let me reload my weapons just to be ready. You must break the link before the manifold can be removed. Alright, I'll go to this one since the rest of them went somewhere else. I don't remember. Uh, there's a symbol somewhere here. Oh, okay, I guess I got it to the right one on accident. But usually you will fly around the area and uh, look for it. Like the spot where it um, tells you. There's a, there's a marker near that side saying which marker you're supposed to do. I just started touching it because I forgot that at first. But yeah, there's that. I like the, that uh, storm to the right of my character with like all the colors on it because it's pretty cool looking actually. It's definitely a skin or a spray on this character. Uh, it's still pretty cool. We all got soldiers, so I guess we're all in the fight I guess. I don't really know what those mean because there's no... Well, there probably is somewhere in the game. I just haven't looked for it yet. Of uh, basically what each of those things mean and... I think I'm going to sell all of this. Maybe? Will I bring the- nah, probably not. I really only let raise the level because I'm upset about the whole Spongebob getting deleted thing because now I have to play through that whole game. Um, and then that pushes back my time because my plan was to finish Spongebob and then the rest was just going to be whatever happens on Friday and then Anthem and Star Wars on repeat until I finish those games. Or at some point there was probably going to be a bunch of the games, those games coming out at the same time. So like one week would be full of um, full of videos basically so five days a week of video but the video would have been recorded so it would be no extra strain on me basically my plan is to try and get two videos recorded each day um that way i can be done and then focus completely on studying for my finals because i am still in college if you didn't so know. now we got to bring it to matthias the next episode will be helping out dax with her thing i forgot that she was royalty i actually forgot all about dax for real Ah, the title's gonna be. I know what the title of this episode's gonna be now, too. I just remembered. What's this? Is this a helmet? Yeah, it is. A storm helmet. Maybe Matthias was a storm. No, he's a. He's a. An architect or whatever. Arcanist, that's it. Matthias! Hello, hello, hello! Here's the manifold. Ah. Interesting. It's much smaller than expected, huh? Mm. Well, Joel's not gonna hurt it. Oh boy. Okay. Let's. Let's. Um. There. Okay. You hit that switch. Um, uh, hit it again. 
just me or is nothing happening? Okay, easy, easy. Let me see here. Yeah, this is here. Yeah, this is here. I mean, the connections are right. Hmm. Ah, I know. Uh, there is this uh, uh, tried and true technique. Never fails to... Matthias? Well, this is... No. Incredible. Shove off, Hansi! What went awry? We struck the manifold. Manifold, definition, amplification, or... multiplication. <sighs> oh, we've been multiplied? This is total scorp drop. Wait, 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 this can't be multiplication. You're surly, and I'm not, and he's... He cleaved and freeze what happened. Division. Of course, um, an inverse function of... The manifold divided you? I don't like this. Physical multiplication, psychic division. A personality split three ways. No! No, no. It's not what the manifold is supposed to do. We have to fix this. The Dominion soldiers in the ruin, there were three. Do you think the manifold affected them too? Three Dominion soldiers? The same soldier. I'm not sure. We have to go check. Agreed. Any information will help. Wait! What are we supposed to do in the meantime? Stay out of trouble. But trouble's my middle name. No, it's Arrow. Guys, focus. It's Arrow. Go. You're right, buddy. Oh. All right. And that'll set us up for the next mission that we do. For Matthias, at least. Hey, you. Unless we go back and do it now. This video is 34 minutes now. It'll get cut down to about, I don't know, 29. But then I gotta do the outro. So, yeah, okay, that's that, that's gonna be all for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. This is one of my favorite portions of this game, basically. Uh, and don't forget to like the video, share with your friends. It helps me grow the channel. I just made a Twitter account earlier today, so that's gonna be in the link below also there I'll, I'll run that myself instead of the instagram because i can post on twitter since it's more just words uh unless hashtags are needed i guess or whatever i don't know i don't really understand instagram basically is what i'm saying i just know that i follow meme accounts and they look cool on my personal one uh but i don't post that often but yeah so that's gonna be all from me like the video share with your friends I guess favorite it still not sure if that's a real thing i think i saw it once but i get that from another youtuber that says it all the time um subscribe that also helps me grow the channel and yeah follow the twitter follow the twitch the twitch is where i stream i'm trying to get back into it it's really just end of finals but i'll try and do that more over the winter break because when winter break hits i'm also going to stop doing videos which is why i'm trying to finish everything now uh but thanks for watching and i'll see you next time